Day 12 of Minecraft. Electrolab levels up the, the new survival series. It's not so new by the time you're probably watching this. Uh, last episode, episode 11, we chopped down a spruce tree and began work on putting a roof on this house. No, it doesn't have a roof yet, so uh, we need to put a roof on it. And I think today we're going to be continuing with that. We're going to try and put a roof on this house. Uh, so that we actually have a proper looking house. We have a technical sort of a roof. There's a little oak slab roof going on over there. Uh, but that's uh, nearly, not nearly pointy enough for my liking. So we're going to have to go ahead and um, build something substantial. We want a substantial roof on the top of this house. Looks like the clerics decided to move into my, my new house here. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out <coughs> how on earth I'm going to get the blocks to where I want them to be. I think for now I'm just gonna build a little little cobblestone um, staircase type thing that should do the trick for now as just temporary blocks which I can use to build a nice pointy, pointy roof. roof. I want a nice pointy pointy roof. Um, maybe pointy is not the right word. I want a sloped triangular roof. Uh, that looks like an actual roof, and like it would not cave in should it start snowing. <laughs> Alright, um, that looks like a basic frame. I think we'll just follow that blueprint for now. Gonna go ahead and build up. How many blocks did I go up? Okay, one more. Is that about four? I think it's about four. I may as well just make them meet in the middle. Why not? There we go, look at that. I don't know if we have enough cobblestone to finish this, actually. We might even keep the cobblestone now, I'm not sure. I'm hoping to eventually upgrade to stone bricks, but maybe we'll just build a new house when it comes to it. Uh, oh, do we have an... Oh, look at that! We have nearly exactly enough. We're just missing two. Um, I know how we can fix this problem. We can just forego the very top pointiness of the roof. And get rid of these two, and we'll have a perfectly symmetrical house. I'm going to need to build the frame here. Those are, that log there is just going to be temporary. We're going we're gonna to go for a nice looking log roof. That's going to be the, the plan. We do have another spruce tree over there which should provide enough enough wood to completely finish the the roof. I don't actually know. This might take a bit, quite a bit of wood. <laughs> we're about to run out right now. Let's see. Can we get all the way across? Can we? No, not quite. Alright, time to go get some more wood. Gonna do a water... Well, that water bucket clutch didn't work. We landed on a bush. The iron golem has respawned. We have another iron golem guarding the, the premises. What is the cleric trade? Nothing that I particularly need right now. What is with the berry bushes? Why do the berry bushes keep breaking? I've been placing these and they just keep breaking. Do they need more sunlight? Is that why they keep breaking? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> begin work on chopping that down. But I may as well harvest these berries on the way. So that we have a nice scrumptious supply of emergency food that hopefully we never actually have to use. It would be cool if they introduced some sort of crafting um, recipes to use the berries for. Um, they're pretty terrible food source on their own, but maybe if they made crafting recipes... Um, to say improve the amount of hunger that they replenish if you mix them with something else like if you make them into a berry stew or a berry pie I don't know maybe imagine if they had a jam to the game that'd be cool <laughs> berry jam I wouldn't know what berries it was they could even add different types of berries I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing pretty sure the next update is going to be a villager update um, at least that's what it's looking like from the snapshots um, we're gonna we're gonna be getting <laughs> we're gonna be getting uh, wandering traders as well. You should be able to trade both ways with the wandering traders, which means you should be able to sell them stuff, and they'll give you emeralds, which is gonna be really interesting. Uh, they are gonna nerf a few of the villagers' trades, though. Um, particularly the armorer will now cost diamonds and emeralds, and also I believe. The librarians will only sell you enchanted books relative to the biome that they're in, which means you will now have to go 
searching and you'll have to travel to different villages in the 1.90.2 update. No, sorry, 1.20.2 update. Because um, you won't be able to get all the enchantment books from a single villager in a particular village. They have to be a certain type of village. Of village villager, <laughs> I think, for you to actually get the trades. Also, I'm just noticing... Yeah, there's a couple of saplings over here. I'm actually going to plant these two saplings not into a... Wait, actually, I might be changing my mind here. I see I see more saplings spawning over here. How many are we going to get from this tree? There's a lot of leaves, and we've already got five saplings, and it looks like the tree has barely even started decomposing. So, oh, look at that, six, okay. I think I'm just going to use the, the rest of the durability of my hoe to try and get as many saplings as possible. Just break it faster, because it's faster than waiting for... Whoa, look at that. Maybe the 2x2 two two variants of trees do actually provide more saplings than the 1x1 one one variants. Because I just got 11 saplings from this one tree, and you only get like 5 from the other trees. But when you do the math, you get 5 from one singular tree. Uh, and... It takes four singular saplings to grow a 4x4, four four. so if we get 20 or more saplings from this tree, then it's the same, or equal, but if we get less than 20, which we're currently at 14, uh, then it means it's probably more economical to get saplings from single spruce trees, but you won't get as much wood, and we need wood right now, so probably won't be doing that. How many have we got? 15 now, 16. If we can get four more saplings, then that will equate to the 2x2 two two variant being superior in all ways in that it generates both more saplings and it will generate more wood. Which means we should only be using the 2x2 two two variant for spruce trees. Unless we don't want to make podzol spawn or something. I think I see a sapling somewhere up there, but I just I can't get to it because it's stuck on the top there and it's way up there and I don't want to pillar up. Alright, I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place, I'm going to leave a gap of three this time, some two by two trees. Look at that, we've got enough for four. <laughs> That's going to be a ton of wood. One, two, three, and then we'll place more, and we've got two spare saplings. Are we getting any more drops from this tree? I think we only got about 18 saplings from this tree so far, which means that so far, planting single trees is superior by two saplings in returns. I'm going to go ahead and plant two regular spruce trees over here as well. I will come back to that later and, and see if we have got any more saplings. Hopefully they don't despawn by the time we get back there. Have the berry bushes? Nope, the berry bushes haven't broken this time. That's good. Over here. Oh! Do I want a house, or do I want emerald? I want a house more than I want emeralds. So we're not going to do stick trade right now. I'm just going to use the overpowered water client to get to the, <laughs> the top of the house here. Uh, oh, there we go. We could probably do the math and figure out how many logs we're going to need to finish the house, but I'd rather just place them down and not think about it. Here we go. I'm going to place all of these down, actually. One, two, three. I might want to add, like, a little lookout on the top of the house, so I will leave room for that. Oh, one thing I didn't think about, though, is that monsters could potentially spawn in the attic. <laughs> and especially, that would not be good if creepers start spawning in the attic, because then we're going to have a big old hole in the roof. And that's not going to be particularly pleasant for anyone involved. Mainly me. Alright, that's it. <laughs> oh, and the sun's going down. We don't want to die to monsters. So I am going to end the episode there. And thank, thank you, you for, for watching. watching. I will see you in the next one.